Amazon sound. Hey, Amazon. Hey, danger. <laughs> Y'all heard the rude boy? <laughs> A time or two, you've been in love the same. I don't know much, much about love, but you make my heart beat so fast. I can see it in your eyes, you want me bad. You can see it in my eyes, I want you to. I would never do a thing. By my past, you never judge me by your past. Wanna get together and call you boo. I would never do a thing. Take me by my hand and show me love. I'll take you by your hand and I'll show you love. I would never do anything. Okay, how's everybody? I have some news for you. Uh, it's been a couple of days since I put a video out. Um, you know, just been hanging out, uh, checking the stories out. I have more stories. I promise to do at least three um, a video. So um, I'm getting ready to start with one now. Um, okay, um, okay, um, pregnant, uh, gunshot, uh, victim stays on life support, uh, for weeks, uh, to deliver her baby, uh, before dying. Um, a pregnant Ohio woman, uh, placed on life support after being shot in March, uh, stayed uh, alive long enough, uh, to have her baby. Um, in late April, before um, dying from her, um, her from her um, uh, for her people, you know, ha they have been confirmed. Uh, she was shot March first, uh, but stayed on uh, life support system until April twenty first, two thousand eighteen, uh, when doctors delivered the baby. Uh, Wilson uh, was uh, subsequently uh, taken off of life support, um, and she died uh, April twenty fourth. Uh, Wilson was 25 years old. Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. Uh, the baby lived. That was that was very uh, nice. Uh, the baby lived. Uh, God rest her soul. Okay. Um, we have another one here. Uh, it says teen allegedly sh um, strangled a friend who was topless in a hotel room uh, bound with uh, phone cards. <clears throat> Excuse me. She has been uh, charged with murder and human trafficking um, in the death of um, uh, Rihanna um, Rodriguez. Uh, she was 19 years old. Uh, she lived in uh, Massachusetts. Uh, her friend's um, her friend's body uh, was found topless. Uh, Juana Rivera 
of uh, Lawrence, Massachusetts has been charged uh, with murder, uh, human trafficking, um, un unarmed robbery, um, kidnapping, a conspiracy to commit murder, a conspiracy to um, uh, commit uh, armed robbery, and driving um, the support from uh, prostitution. Uh, held, she's being held without bail. Uh, she says that she's not guilty. Okay, so she's on bail. I think we should do an update on that one uh, to be sure, uh, you know, that she's getting her uh, just dues um, for her crime, uh, which is probably ridiculous. Uh, human trafficking, uh, that's a bad thing. Um, I have another story here. Uh, something I wanted to... Uh, let's see what happened here. Uh, just a moment, okay? I'm just trying to uh, locate a story that I really wanted to put out. Oh no, where is it? Okay. Um, it's not there. Um, okay, where is it? It's not here. Where's my story? I wanted to save that one for last. Okay. Um, all right, I'm having a little trouble uh, finding a particular um, uh, news story that I wanted to share with you. I wanted to try to get three in, um, you know, a video. So, um, unfortunately, we have two. Uh, the other is um, I don't plan to do those um, for, uh, you know, until the next video. So, I want to make sure, uh, you know, that I include uh, the one that I'm missing tonight. So, um, so how's everybody? I'm, I'm doing okay. Uh, things are going well for me. I hope things are going well for you, your family. Hope everything is, you know, safe for you guys. Um, you know, I hope everything is just doing well, you know, everybody. Uh, sometimes when you think that you're doing so bad, you know, you got to think because there's people in the world that's doing a whole lot worse than you, you know. So uh, when Dee Dee Blast struggle, I smile and I get ready for the bomb, you know. And um, uh, so um, things usually work out in my favor. So I'm, I appreciate that a lot, you know. I still haven't got my perm and I still haven't got my dye. <laughs> so um, it's really not important because really I'm on here, uh, you know, to, sh to report the news, of course, and to uh, possibly, um, you know, share a little. Um, and I don't know if you guys are scared to hit the su subscribe button. You know, Diddy Blast doesn't bite unless you bite me. <laughs> you bite me, I'm going to bite your ass back. So, but anyway, um, so hopefully you guys, you know, would, uh, you know, continue uh, to watch the videos and to subscribe, um, you know, hit the bell and you can uh, catch me uh, anytime that I'm on. Um, I had a terrific weekend. Um, things have been going uh, very well. Um, so instead of cooking tonight, uh, me and uh, Twizzy808, we um we ordered out so I had got me some clam strips, y'all. <laughs> it's been a while, but I had some clam strips and some French fries, you know. I usually don't eat other people French fries but McDonald's, you know. I like McDonald's fries. It's like they boss, you know. Since I was a child I had you don't bring me no um burger like like you could probably bring me a whopper from Burger King, possibly, you know. But definitely, definitely don't bring me no Burger King fries because I'm not going to eat them shits, you know. So McDonald's fries is what it is, you know. So, um, you know, so is everybody okay, you know? Every, and nobody have anything they want to chat about? You know, we can put some um, stuff in the comments. And, you know, don't be afraid to, you know, subscribe. And don't be afraid, you know, to feel like, you know, you can't talk. You know, maybe it could be something trivial. You know, it doesn't have to be anything bad like murderous. And, you know, don't call me if you murder somebody now. <laughs> you better call a lawyer. Because <laughs> Didi Blast can't help you. You know, so hopefully no one has to get murdered or killed, you know. So let's try to get rid of the violence in the world, you know. When I was watching one of my videos and I had makeup all under my nails and stuff. It's crazy, you know, because uh, years ago you couldn't catch me at the store anywhere. Um, um, I had to be prim to motherfucking prim. And I did it well, you know. So what's so funny is it's now, you know, I put my makeup on and I get ready and I do what I got to do. But, you know, just slip my mind to wash my hands. You get the makeup, you know, the, the makeup off my hands. 
Um, so um, I did the same thing tonight. I got makeup on my hand. How you know? So it's just when when I get up, I, I grab um, the wall. So uh, there's a particular spot in my wall that I grab when I get up, you know. <laughs> and it's full of makeup, you know. So, you know, give me a minute, you know, to get back into things. You know, I was a tomboy first before anything. I, I used to play football with my brothers, you know. I kicked ass in flag football because I was fast, you know. They could never catch me. So one day I'm like, hey, you know, I'm about to try football. You know, I was going to do, you know, and they killed my ass out there, you know. <laughs> uh, but I still played. I did a couple of tackles myself, you know, and I used to play basketball. And uh, my team, we won the championship. Yes, we did. We won the championship. You know, so um, I've always been a little physical, you know, so, you know, people, you know, think that you're, um, because your age is what your age is, that's how you get drunk. Thinking somebody ages, you know, that's how you get drunk, drunk fast, you know. So, um, but I don't let age get on me, not at all. I'm a beautiful woman, I'm a beautiful person, you know. I have beautiful music, you know. I, I love to, you know, do this channel, you know. It's like, wow, you know, I was meant to be in front of a camera, I feel. You know, you got to feel good about you because if you don't feel good about you, nobody else is going to feel good about you. So, see, one thing about me, I'm not a, a conceited woman at all, none whatsoever. You know, I take compliments, you know, thank you. And I also give compliments, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I'm not stuck up because I, I look at it like this. Pretty is nice. But guess what? Pretty don't pay the bills. You got that? And uh, don't get the pocketbook, you know, for $300. You know what I'm saying? Get the $100 pocketbook so you can have $200 in your bag instead of a $300 purse with nothing in it. Feel me? You know what I mean? So as far as clothes and stuff, I wear what I can. You know, I don't I don't have many clothes and, and shoes and, you know, things like that. And so I do that. You know, I've been doing that, uh, you know, to sacrifice for my children. My time is coming. You know, I need a dentist. I'm not afraid to say or, you know, or to show or smile, you know. Really, I'm not because it's a lot of people before they came in the industry had some raggedy mouths, okay? Raggedy mouths. So they got their teeth fixed. They have money. You know what I'm saying? Dee Dee Blast don't have money to get her teeth fixed. I spent 300 so far. I only can do but so much. I have to pay my bills. I have to pay the heat, the lights, you know, the gas, everything, you know. And, and I don't get food stamps. So when that $200 pop up, I'm paying cash for that. You know what I'm saying? So... Uh, as far as clothes and material things, been there, done that $75 shoes, business suits. I wore my first business suit when I was 15 years old. I got a job at an investment company, you know. So I've always been able to work, and, and I have a lot of skills, a lot of experience. Um, I worked at the bank for about four years or so, and so most of my job have been a uh, manager of department stores, you know. So those are the kind of jobs that, you know, that I would do. Um, <clears throat> unfortunately, for the moment, I'm home uh, with my... It's not unfortunate. What do you mean? Fortunately, I am home uh, with my children. They're getting bigger. I'm raising them. Their, their success and their work ethic is a lot more important than mine. You, know, you understand? So as far as clothes and stuff, you know, we did that. We used to be the best at it. I, I ain't met a bitch yet. Put it down like Diddy Blast, you know. But Diddy Blast don't have no money. If I get money, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna buy underwears and socks. I'm gonna put a head on the bills. I don't believe in wasting money. I don't. I'm gonna pay pay a head on the bills, you know. Get some groceries up in the house. Make sure everybody got socks and underwears and stuff, you know. It would be me last, you know. That's the way it is. So that's the way I roll. So um, in the meantime, I'm doing the video of the channel, <clears throat> which I'm very I'm happy to do, really. It, it means a lot to me to do this channel, you know. I was meant to be in front of the camera, so. Now, I stopped going to the gym about a month ago, so I, I obviously need to uh, get back um, into that. I've been going to the gym for about five or six years, you know. <clears throat> and then, you know, so, you know, sometimes I take a break, you know. So, I had a month off, really. I'm going to be honest. I haven't been to the gym in a month. <laughs> And I've been, you know, enjoying myself, you know, without going. But I know I need to be there. So um, I can't wait to get there. It's just very nice, you know. I like to tread my treadmill myself to death, you know, for at least 45 minutes. And uh, so that's what I like to do, you know, to keep your legs strong, keep you strong, you know, and fit. You know what I mean? So 
Um, I still can play a little hand of basketball now. <laughs> you know, so when I uh, was younger and I told you I was a, a tomboy, I really was, you know. I, all the little boys that used to have a crush on me, for some reason, I used to beat their ass. And my brother said, what? Nobody could figure that out, and I couldn't either, you know, but I know that if a few, you know, boys, you know, they told someone that they liked me, they thought I was cute, you know, so um, that was when I was younger, so I won't beat you up now. <laughs> Don't blow no smoke up my ass, you know, but other than that, um, you know, if I do get involved in a relationship, it's going to be a very happy um, relationship, you know, it's going to be very positive, just like this channel, this channel is going to be positive, no gossip on this channel, you know what I mean, no Satanism, none of that stuff, we, we're not into, you know, doing that on my channel, this is a news channel, but it's going to include other things, you know, so I'm still trying, you know, basically, you know, to figure this channel out and see, you know, where I want to go, you know, what I want to do with it, so, um, so you guys, um, you know, um, subscribe, you know, might as well, you know, we can chat, you know, talk about maybe we can help somebody or help me or help you or, you know, because I've learned that, you know, really talk about things and I used to handle things, you know, like the Incredible Hawk, you know, so uh, that's not me anymore. I'm not into that, you know, I'm not into, you know, carrying on in, in that manner like that, you know, um, um, you know, I don't do that anymore. So I don't regret the way I was raised. So, and I don't regret uh, some of the things that I had to do. You know, some things I do regret because I'm not perfect. Uh, please don't think that I'm perfect. I'm not. I just love myself, you know, and I stay celibate because I'm not, you're not making love. It ain't even making love. You're not fucking me just to be fucking me. I'm sorry. Um, it, yes, I would, you know, like to have someone. Sure. You know, sometimes, yeah, I get a little lonely, you know what I mean? But it ain't that lonely, you know, for peace of mind, you know what I mean? You don't have to worry about, you know, your lover down the road. You don't have to walk up the street, you know, a bunch of cackling assholes, you know, got to remind you on how, you know, good, how good your husband eat pussy to hear that when you walking through, you know, girl, he girl, let me tell you, know, that kind of thing about your own husband, you know what I mean? So, you know, Dee Dee Blast don't do that. I don't do that. You know, you come this way, you come this way real, or don't come this way at all. It's like that. that and I have no problem with that. None whatsoever. No no 240 ounces of OE, a bag of weed, Mickey D's, you and all the hoes. You in there, not me. Nose and ears, too. You in the nose hole and the ear hole, too. Most of y'all need a, 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 a blow-up dial. All the hoes. You know what I'm saying? That thing even cooked. You can kick it. You could talk shit to it. You could slap it. You could throw it around the room. Then all the hoes is open. Then you horny now. Now you could get the whole, all the hoes. Nose and ears, too. Oh, yeah, all the hoes. For a two ounces, of, for, I'm sorry, for four, 240 ounces of OE, a bag of weed. You know what I'm saying? Mickey D's and you in there. That's not me. <laughs> so don't even come my way with that. Always be careful how you approach me, especially on a romance tip. Don't approach me on some bullshit, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, think about what you're going to say before you approach me. You understand what I'm saying? I'm a beautiful person. Um, I, I am a trustworthy type of person, too. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm not perfect. Never said I was perfect. I went out to the clubs. I had fun. But I'm sorry, I'm just not going to own up to being a hoe. Most bitches that's a hoe, they talk that hoe shit, but at night, honey, ain't nobody claiming you. Holidays come, bitch, you miserable, you mizzy. I'd rather have my own man. I think I'm very capable. I know my worth, and I know that I'm worth having my own man than to be sitting back slopping up somebody else, man. Because little do y'all hoes know, see, the wifey marinates the dick at night. Yeah, and then the next day, he at your shit, and it's in your mouth. And people always say, how your stuff tastes. You know what I'm saying? How my stuff tastes. This is my man. This is my husband. What makes you think, man, my husband ain't getting it on, honey? Because we do. 
and we are. But right now we divorced, so I'm, you know, I'm not looking for anybody. But if something happens to come up, you know, decent guy, you know, treat me properly, approach me properly, um, because I'm not a chicken head. Y'all know chicken heads turn into chicken hands. They have babies and everything too, just like they females. But that's the kind of life they choose to lead, you know. But don't sit up there and act like you a hoe and you happy, you a happy hooker bitch, cause you not. You're miserable as hell. <laughs> Ain't nobody claiming you. Ain't nobody taking you nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Holidays come. Niggas with they bitches. You know what I mean? That's just how it is. Y'all y'all forget that. Y'all forget he got a wife. And then you go to hating on the wife because he ain't left yet. The more, you know, how y'all know the deal. The more you dog your woman, the more pussy you get. Let's keep it real. You know, so they they, they be lying and get caught up in they lie, get mad, want to fight everybody because they mad. They caught up. Don't get caught by me. <laughs> Don't get caught by me. You know, because the problem is really they want their woman at home, but you they just want to leave her there. That's like for security purposes. But they chasing the hoe in the street. They chasing her ass. See, when I was a little girl and a man had an affair, let me tell you something. That whole bitch on the side better not. Better not. You hear me? Better not say nothing to my wife. Nothing. Don't say shit to my wife. Pimp slap your ass backwards. But now, nowadays... Men cheating, child, they slapped the wife ass backwards for stepping to his whore. Now, y'all niggas got it twisted. Now, what kind of shit is that? Okay? The wife gets smacked the shit out the wife because the wife stepped to the whore. And it used to be when I was a little girl that, you know, the side chick got pimp slapped for stepping to the wife, you know? So, things have changed. It's a jungle out here. So, I ain't in no rush, you know what I'm saying? But... You know, I would like to, um, you know, uh, call somebody my own, treat my man real good, soak his feet, you know, cook a nice meal. And the kids is older, so they in and out, so we can bless each room, you know what I mean? I'm very romantic, I, and I, when it rains, I love to hear the rain hit up against the house. That's romantic to me when you with your man, everything's off. It's nothing on the TV, nothing. It's just you hear the rain, you know, so... I find that uh, romantic, you know, I do. Especially when you're with your boo and ain't no fighting or nothing. Everybody, you know, ready to get that thing on, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's good with somebody that you love. and something. Like, you know, your body is your temple. You just can't be just letting niggas run up in you and then plow, plow, and, you know, slam, wham, bam, thank you, damn, ma'am, and shit. You know, have respect yourself, and if it means you have to go without sex for a period, then do that, ladies, because you'd be surprised what you find out about yourself when you're celibate and you have no man, you know, around. It's just you and your children. You grow, you grow tighter, you know, with your children. You know what I'm saying? And you know, so you know, I do fantasize about some brother, you know, saying the right thing to Diddy Blash. You know what I'm saying? And. You know, so um, L-O-V-E, I got that from my buddy, um, Wakalimi. But it's true, you know, uh, love is uh, <laughs> legs open very easy. So don't come my way with that because that's not the case, my nigga, at all. You know what I mean? And just because you take me out, take me to the movies or whatever, that don't give you a right to put your hands on me to touch me. You don't touch me. What's, you know, that's how I am. It's, it's nothing to do with that. I have to get to know a person before they just to go touching on me. You know what I mean? Don't touch me. Just because we're out on a date doesn't give you the right to put your hands on me. That's, it's, it's nothing to do with anything other than respect. Then respect. Don't, I don't like people to touch me. Don't touch me. You know what I'm saying? Don't think because you took me to the movies or to seafood or something that you could just touch me, you know? So, like, let's get to know each other a little further, you know? I mean, it's good to get to know people because people have a past, and they, they walk around like they don't, but they do. And the past ain't good. You know, so, um, <clears throat> you know, I have a past as well, but I'm going to let you know it ain't no dick sucking. Sorry. Um, I do have a reputation, but it isn't dick sucking. Okay, so we can get that clear. Um, you know, I'm a strong person and I love people, all kinds of people. I'm pro-black, but it's nothing about me anti-white. I'm not anti-white. But the thing is, if something is going on and it just so happened to be a white person, you're doing, you know, something, then, you know, then I, I might speak up. You get what I'm saying? Because it is some white people out there that are appalled at slavery and are appalled at racism and they are appalled, you know. So 
um, you know, everybody white just want to say that up front, up front. So, you know, um, I'm not anti-white. Okay, I love my peoples first over any and everything. You know, if I had a chance to be another race and I could, just like that, I could be another race, I wouldn't. I would say who I am. Proud. You know, very proud. And uh, it's nothing to do with having an attitude, you know, because I don't have an attitude. You know, I'm, I'm confident in myself. I'm confident in things that I do. I'm confident in my children. I'm confident that uh, the Most High got me. <laughs> Yeshia Christ is working with me. And every time I pray them sleeping angels, they wake up and they hear me. And I pray every day you should pray. You know, a lot of times, you know, when things go bad in your life, pray. There's nothing wrong with you to pray. Don't feel stupid. Just talk to God. Have a relationship with Him or something. Don't just go on with life and things go bad. He hears you. You know what I'm saying? That a lot of people is praying to Him. So, you know, a lot of people aren't. You understand? So, a lot of people aren't. You know, but that's their business. That's their thing. So, that's what they want to do. But if you believe in God, pray to Him. Uh, I tell you, it will bring you through. It will. Now, I ain't telling you to go to no church and sit up there and give the pastor all your damn money while he, while you driving off in the Buick Regal that you got to start the shit from this one and that one. You know, some raggedy car to make it to church. To, uh, the pastor got his church, huh, huh? He got cars, a house. He worth all this money. And, you, you know, I'm not telling you to do that because I don't go to church. So I'm not telling you not to go, but I refuse to give my money to pastor while he go pay his mortgage and got his cars and his things. And he's, you know, telling lies anyway. They're not telling the truth in church anyway, you know. So, but uh, if you do go to church, forgive me. Uh, I, I don't mean to disrespect you at all. I'm just speaking from my own point of view on why I don't go to church and why I will not be going to church. They open up these churches for some quick cash. You better believe it. And they're not telling you everything in the Bible that's supposed to be either. So you got to think about that. And most people that's dealing with us as far as pastors and things like that, they throwing up the devil horns while they performing. So, you know, the, those, um, um, the pre those pre preachers are going straight to hell at a, at a timely speed. <laughs> so let them do what they're going to do. Either way, worship God. And uh, uh, no blue, blue eye Jesus, that's not true. His name is Yeshia Christ. That's his name, okay? So, but um, anyway, um, this is not going to be a religion channel either. Just speaking right now about it. Just talking about it, you know. So, um, okay, well, it was nice talking with you all. Um, I'm glad that you uh, viewed uh, a few of my videos. I appreciate that. Why don't you subscribe? We, you know, we're trying to build this channel up. It's going to be a positive channel. It's not going to be about Satanism. It's not going to be about gossip. I could care less what, who's doing what in their gossip and their business and their personal home. You understand? I really don't do gossip. And you can ask my girlfriends that, that, you know, I don't do gossip. And I don't like people talking about one another and then turn around and smile in somebody's damn face. See, I don't like shit like that. So we're going to keep that off our page. What we say on this page is going to be positive. What we say on this page will be my opinion. And if you want to, you know, comment, you know, you could. You know what I'm saying? So, Dee Dee Blast needs the dentist. I'm still sexy, I'm still beautiful, I'm still a winner, and I'm still marriage material, so I'm working on getting my teeth fixed. I spent 300 so far, you know, and I really don't have that, you know what I'm saying, but, um, you know, so I'm, and things are getting done, so I'm not worried about clothes and all of that kind of thing like that right now. My main concern is to get my bills paid, make sure my children are okay, safe, got money in their pocket, they doing good, you know. And no one's bothering them, bullying them, and all that kind of thing. So that that's my concern, you know. So, um, but when I get the money, honey, and you know, so I'll be able to have my hair done all the time. I'm still doing these videos and need a perm, you know. So that goes to show that hey, I'm not worried about looks as far as that. I know that I'm a beautiful person inside and out. I'm mostly concerned about myself being a good person on the inside than I am, you know, for the outside. So I don't have no Louis shirt on and. All of that. I got my chain. I had lost my chain, y'all, and I got my chain back. So I have a medallion for it. So I'm, I'm you know, working on getting um, the medallion for it. So, um, so, um, so everything's good. Uh, you know, um, all all is well here. You know, and it feels so good because I don't have nothing negative to tell you, and it's so beautiful. You know, I really don't. I don't have anything negative. 
to tell you, you know, my C's and I were doing good. And I said, hey, you know, I had to fight for that. So I'm proud of that. My kids tell me, Ma, don't think you're going here and there and there. We still need you. And that makes me work even harder. So if I, they still need me, well, that's good because I need them still, you know. So, um, okay, ladies and, and gentlemen, I'm going to end it now. Uh, I'm sorry about the news. I want to try to do three. A video, what's, you know, um, okay, I, I got to get my glasses and try to figure out what happened uh, to my third story. It was very touching, and, uh, you know, I promised a little girl in the story she was done completely wrong that I would report her. Her name is Gabriella. So in my next tape, I will be doing um, a video about Gabriella. Gabriella was treated real bad, y'all, little girl. You know, so we're going to um, uh, do her story, but it needs to be heard. So, uh, you know, bless the little girl. You know what I mean? Why do people be so mean to children? They're our future, you know? Sh don't show them the wrong stuff, you know? Y'all be out here with y'all little drugs selling songs and all the record deal money. Oh, that ain't no drug money, honey. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> I know. Ain't no money out here no more. So stop with all of that, y'all. Just make the video. Sing the damn song. Y'all got everything. And make out making these kids dumb as fuck, you know? I, you, they don't even know their name. They don't even know how to spell their name. But got these rap songs down to a T. Suck my... Eat my... And fuck you and three of us and threesomes and alcohol and drugs and just... I mean, they, you know, and then you know what? You know them little motherfuckers wouldn't recognize their name if it was going by and on a freight train and neon lights. Wouldn't even recognize their name, but they know all the words to these here adult songs. <clears throat> yes, they do. Yes, they do. And 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 it's so sad. We go to school, can't read. Go to school, can't.